here today is Monday the 6th of May. Our original plan for today was we were going to go out and take little Leo out for his first little trip out. We we're going to go into town on the tram, but then we found out it's hey. bank holiday today and I don't really want to take him out when it's really busy. And also, last night, this little man and his sister decided that Daddy and Mummy were going to get no sleep because he would wake up and Alice would wake up, then he would wake up, then Alice would wake up, and then they both was awake, and he just did not want to sleep last night. It's like night time is his daytime, so we got no sleep whatsoever. Luckily, Lawrence had had his two hour nap, so he was a bit more awake than me, so we managed to do all the night. Well, not all the night, he did feeds, he did two, and I did two. And um, yeah, it looks like now that it's, now that it's daytime, He's decided to go to sleep. So Alice was like this at first as well. She thought nighttime was daytime, daytime was nighttime. But she did eventually swap it around. I can't remember when, but hopefully it's not too long because we got no sleep at all. So I'm hoping I can put him down now and maybe get half an hour sleep. Lawrence has just taken Alice down for her breakfast because he got more sleep than me. Not much more, but just a little bit more. So he's taken Alice down for her breakfast and hopefully this little man will let me get half an hour and then I'll go down and get ready as well. So there he is. Isn't he gorgeous? Looks like a little angel now, don't you? So yeah. I will get back to you in a little bit. <laughs> Is it the best city in the world, like <laughs> But yet you choose to live here. Hello. Hello. One sleepy baby. Two sleepy babies. Hi, so it is now about half eight and yeah, I haven't vlogged anything today because I've spent all day editing um, the weekly vlog from the week I had Leo, so I've not really had a chance to film anything, but this little man's cord came off today, didn't it? And I've not seen it yet, but Lawrence was there when it came off, so let's just see what it looks like. Oh, that's weird. Hello, Leo. Hey, I'm hungry. Mm. Can't really see it very well, but yeah, it's come off, so I'm going to show the midwife it tomorrow, make sure it's okay. Oh, yeah, his cord came off. What's the date today? So we remember. What's the date today? Oh. <laughs> Do you know? 6th of May. The, the 6th of May? Yeah. So his cord May fell day. off on the 6th of May. Yeah, little man. Yeah, we're here, okay. <laughs> We're just changing his nappy before we feed him. So he's weeding me yet? Yeah, he's not weed on Lawrence yet. Nope. But the other day he pooed and it fired. <laughs> yeah. He pooed on and weed on. Well, yeah, I've been pooed and weed on. You're supposed to do that to Daddy, not Bobby. Good boy. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna feed this little red ball because he's getting hungry. And then I think I'm going to go to bed. And Lauren talks about his Game of Thrones, don't you? Yeah, so we will get back to you tomorrow. Hi, today is Tuesday the 7th of May. Uh, it is about half nine now. I've just fed little Leo. I've just put him down in his basket. I think he's stirring a little bit. Um, last night he was a bit better than the night before. But he's still after his last feed. After one of his feeds, he wouldn't go back to sleep, so um, Lawrence had to stay up with him. And the, the other feed, I had to stay up with him, so we're both quite tired again today. Uh, also, he woke Alice up when he's crying, and then she had to come in here in bed with us as well. I think it was around 5am, so we gave her her bottle. I gave her Alice her bottle. Lawrence gave the baby his bottle. So we're all in this bed then, so yeah. Today, the midwife is due to come and check his um, blood again to make sure that jaundice hasn't gone up. So she usually comes around 10 o'clock. So I'm going to get up in a minute and make sure I'm ready. And then uh, in the afternoon, we're going to take Leo to 
register his birth. I think our appointment's three o'clock, so we've got that to do. And yeah, that's going to be our day today. So we're going to have to set his pram up and take two prams because we've not got the uh, double pram yet. Still at my parents' house, and I think he's a bit too small for it. Um, it doesn't have like, it's not like um, a carry cart bit. It's just you just lie the seat flat. I don't think that's going to be very comfortable for him while he's little. So we're going to take two prams just so he's more comfortable. Um, so I'll push, probably push Leo and Lawrence can push Alice or the other way around. We'll see. And yeah, so that's what we're doing today. So I'm going to try and find a nice little outfit for him, but I don't think we've got any little outfits that fit him. I think the only things that fit him currently are the sleep suits. When I say fit, they're still all big on him, so probably just going to have to put him in a sleep suit. And yeah, I think I'm going to get up now, get some breakfast and get ready before the midwife comes, so I'll get back to you in a bit. Oh, I'll just show you Leo so you can see him. I think he's stopped stirring. I think he's gone to sleep. Yeah, he's gone to sleep, but I'll just show you. There he is. He's gone back to sleep. Hi, so it's now quarter past two. We're just getting ready to go out because we are going to go and register Leo's birth today. So that's a sale town hall. So we're just all getting ready. I've just expressed some breast milk. I don't know if I actually showed you, but um, when I got home from the hospital, my mum went and bought me this Tommy Tippy breast pump so that I could express breast milk for Leo, was because I was doing it at the hospital, and the breast pump that I had here didn't work, it was broken. So, my mum went and got this from Boots, it's on offer. It's 60 pounds, I think it's usually about 100 and something. So, I managed to get this from 60 pounds from Boots. So, I've been using this to express since I've been home. Um, I usually get about 60 mils out at a time, which isn't a lot. I was getting a lot more out at the hospital, but they're obviously not as powerful as the ones from the hospital. So, I've just Express, so we've got a bottle to take with us for Leo when we go out. Um, yeah, also, the midwife came this morning, she came at about I think about 10 o'clock it was, and she just decided not to um give him another blood test just because his little foot is so pricked, there's hardly any space left for them to do it. But she said because his jaundice level came down so much last time, it's unlikely it would have gone up by now to the um needing treatment again so they're leaving it till Saturday and they're going to do it again on Saturday. They also weighed him and he's put more weight on. He's still not back at birth weight but he's very close to birth weight now. Is he, did he say 6'10? 6'10, 6'13, I can't quite remember but it's something like that. And he was at birth weight he was 7'2 so he's getting he's getting close to his birth weight so yes. Yeah, so yeah, the midwife came this morning and everything's fine. They checked my wound and everything and they took a swab the other day and they got the results back for that and it said there's no infection there now. So there's no infection, it's fine, it's healing good, so that's good. So yeah, um, Leo is actually due a feed just as we're due to leave. So I'm hoping we can get there before he needs his feed so, or we're going to have to feed him on the trap. <laughs> So yeah, I'm ready, Lawrence is just going to get dressed and then we're going to put the prams together because we're taking two prams because the double prams are still at my parents. So we're taking two prams with us and then we're going to head out. So I'm going to go and put Alice's shoes on and then we are hopefully, oh I need to get I need to get Leo changed as well. I'm going to try and put him in a little outfit, but all the little outfits are a bit big. Uh, so I've got this little outfit, it's newborn size, but it still looks massive, so we'll see if it fits him. If not, he's just going to have to wear a sleep suit. Oh, these my little cheeky monkeys come. Hello, Alice. Oh. Yeah, you're showing him the baby. Yeah. You like seat going to sleep? Yeah. 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 You like see going to see the baby, don't you? Yeah. Alice, tell them, do you like the baby? Yeah. yeah. Darling, you're watching Teletubbies. Shall we put your shoes on and we go out now in your pram? Yeah, let's put your shoes on. Good girl. So I've just got Leo dressed for going out. I've put him in this, but it is absolutely massive on him, even though it's newborn. But it's on him. He's got some little pants on, some little socks, so he's all ready to go. 
got his coat as well. Lawrence has gone to get some money out for this first to pick up, so we forgot to get some. There's Lawrence with Alan. Just come in there. So he's all registered yep. now. We've got his birth certificates. Officially. Yeah, he's officially registered. So are we going to go to your work now? Yeah, go a bit of shopping. We'll go get some shopping at Lawrence's work and show him off. There's Alice. She was a very good girl. So we're just back from registering little Leo and he's just woken up. Yeah, no. I'm a bit worried he's a bit too hot because it's actually really warm outside and he's got his coat on and his blanket on. So I'm going to take this coat off him. To Make sure it's not too hot. We bought a few things from the shop, mostly just junk foods for me because I'm in a junk food mood today. We bought some crisps, some Diet Pepsi, some sweets and some chocolate. I think we're going to sit and watch something later, me and Lauren's, hopefully when these two go to bed. Yeah, and we also got, we also bought some things for him and some for Alice, so I'll get it all out and then I'll show it you if he doesn't cry. So I just took him out of his pram, took his coat off so he's not too hot. So he's wearing his lovely little outfit. I think I showed it before we went, I can't remember, but it's so big on him and it's supposed to be newborn. Oh, he looks so cute. He's got his little socks on. He's got his little trousers on, which are massive on him. And he's got his little dragon t-shirt, haven't you? Did you have a nice time in your pram? It was his first little ride in his pram. He was a very good boy, but I think he's hungry. You know, his bottle's not due for another hour, but he does look like he's looking for food, so I think I'm going to go and make him his bottle. Give him a bottle. Yeah, and when we get you your bottle back. Yeah. So, yeah, we're just back from the shop, so I just thought I'd quickly show you what we got. So, for Leo, we just got him a towel because he doesn't have one of his own. We just, we're just we going to use Alice's, but they're not very soft, so we thought we'd get him a new one. This is from Aldi. It's a towel and a little washcloth, but it's 3 99 so we got him that. And we just picked up some more muslin squares because we're running out of them quick. They use go through them quite a lot, so we just got a pack of three for two ninety nine from Aldi. And we also bought this anti slip bath mat for Alice because she's too big for her bath chair now. So we've been trying to find a mat everywhere, but luckily we found this one. It was ten pounds, so it's got we got that for Alice. She's got some bread, got some squares some butter, a few different biscuits, some sweets and some chocolate for tonight because we're going to probably watch something tonight and some quavers, some milk and diet pepsi, that's just everything we got, we just got a lot of junk food. So I'm going to put this away and make Leo his bottle. Hi, it's now half ten and I'm just about to head to bed. Sorry I haven't recorded much since we got back from the uh, registrant Leo, but we haven't really done much. I spent most of the evening just editing last week's weekly vlog so I'm up to date with them so I'm not too far behind so I managed to get that done but I thought I'd just show you what we got when we registered Leo. We got his birth certificate but they also gave us like a little book bag with some books in so I thought I'd just show you what we got. So in here is his birth certificate so we got two birth certificates because um, it's always handy to have two and they were £11 each. We've got two birth certificates so there in there. We also get a lot of leaflets and stuff in there as well. So there is birth certificates and we gave us this little book bag which is really cute and then inside this little box I'll just get them out and show you. So this is what came in the little book bag. So it's got this little sheet with um, nursery rhymes on it to read to your kids which I think is really really cute. There's this little booklet about reading with your child from 0 to 12 months. There's that as well. 
and you get two really cute little books and Alice was actually looking at these and reading these while we were um, sorting out his birth certificates so is this one about a little train And then there's this one about bouncing babies. So I thought that was really, really nice to get for free. And obviously, you can use these with Alice as well. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm just about to head to bed now. So I will get back to you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, if you're wondering, Alice is toothpaste. She always gets it all over me. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to head to bed. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hi, today is Wednesday the 8th of May. It's about 12 o'clock now. Um, the health visitor has just been to check up on Leo. Um, they just asked the normal questions like, how am I feeling, how's he, stuff like that. So she's gone now and I'm just about to head to the shop because it was my mum's birthday the day after I gave birth to Leo. It was her 60th birthday and we haven't got her any cards or presents. Yeah, so I need to go and get her some cards from us and a present. And later today, we're going out for a meal with her for to celebrate her birthday because the whole family went out for a meal. Alice went with them, but obviously me and Lawrence couldn't go because we were in the hospital. So we're going to go today. So I want to get her card and presents to give to her when we go out for the meal. So I'm just going to nip to the shop now and see what I can find for her. Lawrence is just feeding Leo. Alice is just sat watching Rosie and Jim. So yeah, I'm going to head out now and I'll get back to you in a bit. Okay, so I'm just back from the shop. So I just thought I'd show you what I got from my mum. So the first thing I got was this little gift bag. And this was £1.29 from Card Factory. I just thought it was really nice. I really like the colours on it as well. I thought it was really pretty. And I got her this box of chocolates. I've got everything from the Card Factory because I thought they all looked nice and went well together. There's just a little box of Belgium chocolate. I just thought they were nice and these are the chocolates to get in it. I think this was 3 99 this box of chocolates or 2 99 can't quite remember. And I got her this mug for 3 99 which says 60 on it. Check it out, I'll show you. Hold on a second. I got her. So I had that for 3 99 And I just got her a little candle which says 60 on it for 2 99 And I think it is vanilla scented. Yeah, vanilla scented. And then I got her this card from Alice and Leo. It just says for a special nan. I'm not sure how she'll feel with it saying nan because she likes to be called nana, but they had none that said nana on it. So it says nan. Be 60 today. Happy birthday with love. And that was 129. And then I got this one off me and Lawrence. And this comes with stickers in, so you can stick the sticker on. so I'll be putting mum on it so I could use the nana one maybe and stick it over that I don't know oh I think Alice is waking up she's asleep in her bed upstairs I better go check on her but yeah that's everything I got and it's all from the card factory hi so it's now three o'clock and I'm just about to start getting ready to go out I'm just gonna have a quick shower wash my hair then I'm gonna get Alice and Leah ready so yeah, I better hurry up because we've only got an hour. So I'll get back to you once we're all dressed and ready. Hi, it's now quarter to four. I'm all ready. I'm just getting this little lady ready. She's gonna wear this pretty, oh, she's gonna wear this pretty dress that she's not worn yet. So I'm gonna hurry up and get her ready because we've only got 15 minutes. Okay, so we've got Alice dressed, but she's run off. I'm just about to try and get Leo dressed. I'm gonna try and see if this will fit in, but I think it might be a bit too big, but we're going to see. And he's fast asleep. <laughs> One sec. <laughs> Travel. Travel. <gasps> Smiley, for granddad. Dad. Now here's Alice. little Alice in her dress. She's taking her shoes off. I need to quickly wipe the cards out before they get here. Yeah. <laughs> Right, let's go in. Okay, so we've just got to the carvery. 
We didn't bring uh, Alice's crown. Oh. Yeah, I think it's for you. Yeah, so Alice, we haven't brought her pram because she's going to sit in a high chair, but we've got a baby's pram. The chicken nuggets. Um, okay. What's she mm, I think we need to get her chips or mashed potato. I think she prefers the chips. I might get her chips as a treat. And, mm, they love to get the peas or the carrots. Okay, the please. Daddy's playing with that game. <laughs> Are you stuck? Do you want me to help you? Let me in that chair. There you go. Where are you going? Where's Daddy? 
Okay, go get Daddy. No. Oh, you can walk. Watch your Daddy. Oh, good girl. Oh, aren't you clever? Clever. Maybe, like, she might start walking. Like, she wants to get to the door. Maybe. Oh, watch it. Oh, she could reach it. Are you going to do a go walk to mummy? No. No. Come on, me. Overboard at the Calgary. Mm. Leo's got nothing. <laughs> Always waking up. He's not sleeping, he's thinking about sleeping. Now he's got some ice cream. Oh, what can I do with that? Oh, <laughs> that looks nice, Ali. Too big. Oh, it's a look brand. There we go. Oh. <laughs> oh. Too much. Is that cold? Too cold. Yeah, oh. Oh. Where's Alice? Oh, oh, where's Alice? Yeah, I'm on. Where's Alice? We're doing the 6-5 side Where's Alice? Oh, Pinkerman! I've got that week, next week, it'll be sold out. And look again, it'll be down there. It'll be sold out. And that right then. That should be enough time. It's be home uh -oh. for all the heavy Oh no, did you drop it? Then we have that dum dum. I say not till after the week. Can I have the dum dum? Weekend, because. Take, take a dummy out. There you go. <laughs> 
actually got back from the meal at about half seven which was Alice's bedtime so we got her sorted and ready for bed and I fed this little man while Lawrence was getting Alice ready for bed then Lawrence took him and I fed Alice her bottle and got her to sleep so she is now in her cot fast asleep and I'm giving this little man cuddles so he's had his bottle but yet he is still awake I think, I think he just wants cuddles because he can't possibly want any more bottles. He's had loads. Look at you. Daddy got some wind up, but maybe he's still got a bit more wind, so I might try and wind him a bit. Lawrence is just currently washing all bottles and sterilising them. I'm just watching a bit of YouTube while I give this little one cuddles. And then I think once Lawrence has finished sterilising everything, we're going to watch i think we've got the flash to watch so i think we're going to watch that and maybe eat the cake that we got from the um restaurant that we took home so i think that is the plan for our night and then we're going to head to bed so i think i will see you tomorrow now I'll say bye bye leo bye 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 <gasps> yeah. hi today is thursday the 9th of may I think it's about half eight or nine o'clock i'm not quite sure um but we are up alice is just having her breakfast she's having some crunchy nut cornflakes i think lauren's got them for her leo is asleep and we're just waiting because someone is supposed to be coming to do our gas safety check today on the boiler and stuff so this the due are between eight and one so we've got everything ready for them when they come but i'll just show you alice having her breakfast Here's Alice having her breakfast. Having some crunchy nut cornflakes, aren't you? Good girl. She's watching Rosie and Jim. And there's little Leo asleep in his basket. So yeah, we've got nothing really planned for today. We're just gonna stay in. I think we're all a bit tired. Lauren's hardly got any sleep last night because little Leo decided he wanted to be awake for most of the night. So I think Lawrence is quite tired, so I think after the gas safety person's gone, he might have a nap and I'll watch the kids and maybe do some editing on the computer. But yeah, we've not really got much planned for today, so I'm not sure how much I'm going to film. And tomorrow, I think Lawrence is going to cinema to see Endgame because he's not had a chance to see it yet. Um, 
and I'm gonna go around to my parents with the kids. So yeah, that's the plan for tomorrow. And then Saturday, Sunday, Lawrence is at work, so we'll see how I cope on my own. So yeah, I'll get back to you later. So it's 10 o'clock now, and little Leo has woken up for his bottle. Yeah? Daddy, get in your bot park. Hello. Hi, so it's now one o'clock. The person has just been to do the gas safety, gas safety check and that was all fine. So he's gone now. Little man's just had his bottle and he took 90 mils, didn't you? Yeah. We did get a bit of wind up, but I don't know, he still looks like he might have a bit of wind, so I might have to try and burp him again. Alice is just having some lunch. Just show you Alice. Alice having some lunch. Having some strawberry, aren't you? And a favourite cheese and ham because we've not been to shop and bought anything else yet. So having cheese and ham again today, but we'll have something different hopefully tomorrow. Yeah. You like it, don't you? Your strawberry's nice. Yeah, good girl. And Lawrence is just about to look out to shop to go and get some food for dinner. He's going to make us a nice paella. Yeah, because we can all eat that together, can't we, Alice? Yep, yeah, so when this little man goes to sleep, I'm going to try and do a bit of editing because I've got loads of videos that I've filmed and not edited yet. I've got all my... um bags for the hospital that I filmed before I went to the hospital and had the baby so I filmed all them just to get around to editing them and then I think there's some haul videos and stuff so there's quite a few videos that need editing so hopefully I can get that done also going to try and edit what I've filmed so far for the weekly vlog so it doesn't take me so long so yeah I've got quite a bit of editing to do but this little man's quite awake are you going sleepies? yeah you want to see mummy? Aww. So cute. So we just got the play mat out for Leo to play on. And he had a little play, but he got a bit upset and we picked him up. But little Alice is loving playing with the play mat, aren't you? Do you remember this when you was a baby? She keeps cuddling all the toys, don't you? Ah, oh. you cuddling the toys? Oh, Tigger. Where's Minnie Mouse? There's Minnie. Oh, take a fall off. Here's little Leo. Now I'll feed him. Hi, so it's now six o'clock and we're all just having dinner. Lawrence has made us a lovely paella and Alice is tucking in. She loves it. I'll just show you. Here's little Alice. Who's that nice, Alice? You love daddy's paella, don't you? Mmm. Making nice mess, aren't you? Hey, so, Lawrence eating his. Leo's just in there. We just put him out of the way while Alice was playing. And obviously, because we get more light in there, we've been keeping him there. But I think he might be stirring. And here's my dinner. So we're going to tuck into this and watch some telly. Say hello. Today is Friday, the tenth of May. I think it's about eleven o'clock now. Uh, Lawrence has gone off to the cinema with my brother to see Endgame because he's not a chance to see it yet and he's a massive Marvel fan so he's been waiting a long time to go and see it so he's gone to see that so mummy is at home with little Alice and little Leo Alice looks a bit tired mm. don't you? yeah so we're gonna watch a bit of Rosie and Jim and see if she'll have a little nap and Leo is asleep in his basket he's, his next feed is due about 12 so I'm hoping I can get her to sleep by about half 11 and then I can just feed him and she'll be asleep. So that's the plan. So yeah, it's just me by myself with the two kids for a while because I think this film is three hours long. And so it's probably going to be about four, maybe five hours or so. Yeah, it's me with them for the first time on my own. But he is at work tomorrow. 
and Sunday and he's doing 11 hour shift both days so he's going to be out the house for like uh, probably at least 13 hours so I think tomorrow my parents are going to have Alice for a little bit she's going to go around and play at theirs for a little bit with Uncle Daniel aren't you and then Sunday I'm just going to have them both but I think Saturday she's going to go around to Nana and Grandad's for a little bit and have a nice play aren't you mm, yeah she looks a bit tired so yeah I will get back to you a little bit later hopefully once uh, she's having her nap and let you know how it's going so yeah I'll get back to you in a bit Hi, so it's now half 11. I'm just about to get Alice her bottle and hopefully she will have a nap. And then Leo is due to wake up between 12, half 12. So we'll see how it goes because I can either get some stuff done when she's napping or I'll be feeding Leo. So let's hope she will take her nap. Um, she has cow's milk now, so I'm just gonna pour this into one of the bottles and then hopefully she'll drink it and go to sleep. So Alice is taking her nap in her travel cart that we keep here because it's just hard for me to carry upstairs because I'm not even supposed to lift her for six weeks but obviously he can't look after a toddler and not lift them but mm. I've just left her into here instead of carrying her all the way up to a car so she's asleep in there little Leo's asleep here so I think I'm going to try and express some breast milk while they're both asleep although it's quite noisy that's the only problem mm. Mm. I might have to wait actually till they're awake because I don't want to wake them up. So I think I'll just do some editing till this little man wakes up for his bottle. I think he's due to wake up in about half an hour, so I've got a little bit of time to get some work done. So this little man is just starting to stir, has just gone 12, so I think I'm going to make his bottle because I don't want him to start crying and waking up. I'm going to make his bottle before he gets. So I'm going to go make it now. So I haven't had any chance to express any breast milk this morning, so I'm going to have to give him some formula this morning. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to use the prep machine and make his bottle. of the formula in the bottle and then shake it and then put the rest of the water in so I'm going to do that now So I'll put this lid on, give it a shake, and then add the rest of the water. Okay, it's going to add the rest of the water now. So while that's filling up, I'm just going to wash this. Okay, so the bottle's all ready now. I'll just put this lid on and go give it to him. Okay, so I've just made his bottle. I'm just about to feed him. He does seem to have got... Oh, now he's waking up again. So yeah, I bet he's in quick before he wakes up. So it is now... Uh, 20 past, no, 22 one. Leo drank 90 mils of his bottle, which is really good. And he's now gone back to sleep. I've got a, one little burp up, so hopefully he hasn't got any more wind. He doesn't seem like he has, so he's having a nice sleep. Alice is still napping here. She's fast asleep, but she stinks. So as soon as she wakes up, I need to change her nap. She'll probably wake up about half an hour, I think, for lunch. So, while these two are asleep, I'm going to try and get some editing done at the computer because I've got loads of videos to edit. So, I'm going to do that. So, it's now 
at quarter past one. Little Alice has just woken up from her nap. <laughs> oh, so we're just going to change the bum bum and we're going to get her lunch. I'm going to get you all clean now, darling. So I'm just about to prepare some lunch for Alice. I've just got some water in her cup. And then I was going to give her some grapes, but oh, they're in the fridge and they seem to have got mouldy, which I'm a bit annoyed about because they're supposed to be okay till tomorrow. That's the um, sell-by date on them, but they've gone mouldy, so I'm not going to give her any of them. So I've got a few cocktail sausages. Not the best, but I'm going to give her some of them. And a bit of ham, a bit of cheese. Give her them. And I think she's got some melty puffs, but... As you can hear, she's getting a bit uh, upset, so I'm going to hurry up and do this now. Okay, so I've made her lunch now. So she's got two little cocktail sausages, a bit of ham. She's got um, an orange. She's got a plum. She's got some cheese and she's got a little gingerbread biscuit. It's one of these little gingerbread men biscuits. So she's got one of them as well. So I'm going to go and give her this. See what she thinks of it. Here's your lunch, Alice. Here we go. Does that look nice? Oh, nice. What are you eating? Your cheese. There you are. So she's going to eat her lunch while she watches some telly tubbies. And I think I'm going to express some milk while she's eating that. And I'm going to bring Leo back in here so I can keep an eye on him. Good girl. And then after that, I can get my lunch. So Alice was a good girl and ate up for her lunch so I've given her some quavers as a treat and I've just got some lunch, got a sandwich, biscuit and some crisps and little Leo's just waking up so I'm going to try and eat this quick before he wants another bottle. His bottle isn't really due till 3 o'clock but just recently he's been waking up every 2 hours wanting a feed so we'll see, we'll see how long he lasts before he starts crying for a feed so I'm going to hurry up and eat this now. <laughs> All her lunch, didn't you? Did you eat all your lunch? <coughs> she made a bit of a mess on the floor, so I'm gonna have to clean it up. <coughs> and little Leo is awake, so he wants his buckle, doesn't he, Alice? Does he want his buckle? Yeah, baby, what buckle? So I'm just gonna pick all this up off the floor. Warm his bottle up because he's got some breast milk, but I just need to warm it up for him. Then I'm gonna get her out, let her play while I feed him. That is a plan, so I'm gonna keep her in there while I tidy up and heat his bottle up. Okay, so I've just boiled this kettle. I'm just gonna pour some water into this. And then I'm just gonna put his bottle in it. Okay, so I've just put a bit of boiled water in here and just started bottling. So I'm just gonna nip to the toilet while that heats up and then it should be ready for me to give to him. So little Alice has finished her lunch and I'm just about to give baby his bottle. Yeah, mommy, we're going to feed him his bottle. So it's now half eight. Little Leo is having a little sleep. Me and Alice have been doing some playing. And now she's just watching Teletubbies. This is her favourite one about football. You really like the football one, don't you? Go sit down and watch it now. Sit down. Yes, yeah, sit down. I'm going to make her sit down so I don't want her touching the telly. There we go, she's sitting down and watching it now. So I'm just going to do a bit of editing while she's happy playing by herself and watching this. So I'll get back to you in a little bit. Hi, so today is Saturday the 11th of May. It's actually 7am. Uh, I go, end up getting up at 6am today because both of them were awake and he wanted his bottle and she was crying. So we ended up getting up at 6am. <laughs> Yeah, she's just had her toe. She's just been in her high chair. I don't know if you can see her there. And I'm just getting this little man changed. He's had his bottle. And I'm just getting him dressed now and washed. So he's ready for the day. And I'm just going to get Alice some cereal because she had some toe. So I'm going to get some cereal. Lawrence is actually back at work today. He's doing an 11 hour shift. So it's me and, well, Alice is going to go around to my mum and dad's in a little bit for a few hours for a nice play. So I get to spend some quality time with this little man because usually he's just shoved in a corner to sleep while I play with Alice and he needs some little, he needs some mummy time too. So she's going to go to uh, my parents' house so I can spend a bit of time with Leo and he can have some mummy time. Yeah, I'm just getting him dressed. I don't know if you can see. 
his little feet. Look at how prick they are. This is from all the blood tests he had to take on his feet. Yeah. There's his little feet. Look how prick they are. It's from all the blood tests he's drawn. This. Poor little man. But they're, they're getting better. Anyway, she's getting a bit fussy. Oh, where are you going? Right, I'm going to see to her and get him dressed. So I'll get back to you in a bit. Okay, so I've just got Alice a breakfast now. She's already had a toast. She's having some honey nut loops, aren't you? Yeah. More. She wants more Rosie and Jim on. I've just put this on so I could um, get Leo all dressed. So he's all ready and dressed now. Had his nappy changed so he's all clean. So once she's eaten this, I just need to get her dressed. And then we're ready. I just need to pick all the toast off the floor that she's thrown on the floor. Don't I? Don't throw any of these on the floor, Mrs. Right, I'm going to put Rosie Jim back on for it and I'll get back to you later. The midwife is coming. I don't remember if I said, but the midwife is coming today. I think she's coming around 10. We never really give you a time, but she usually comes around 10. And they're going to take another blood sample from him. Make sure his jaundice is gone. And they're also going to weigh him and see if he's back to birth weight as well. So I'll let you know when she's been. The results. You're supposed to use your spoon. Hi, so it is now 12 o'clock. Oh, the midwife came, I think about 11. Um, they didn't take a blood sample from him today. So they're gonna do it again on Wednesday, but they said his jaundice looks better. They said he still looks a bit jaundiced, but it doesn't look as bad as it was. Um, they also weighed him and he now weighs seven pound one ounce. So he's only one ounce off his birth weight because he was seven pound two. So that is really, really good. So. My parents are just about to come round and get Alice because they're going to have her this afternoon so she can have a nice play because she can't really play very well here. And every time I start playing with her, he ends up waking up. I have to leave her. So she's going to go around there and she can have a nice play with my brother and my mum and dad. And I can focus on looking after him and tidying up so I can wash all the bottles and stuff while she's away. But I'll just show you. It's just in a playpen. She's been a very good girl. I've been trying to get her to have a nap because she's been really tired because we got up so early, but... Oh, every time we yeah but every time we sit down to try and nap something happens so i sat down with her um just before the midwife came with a bottle she just started to drift off and then they came and i had to let them in so that woke her up then after they went sat down with her again with a bottle she's just drifted off and then he started screaming for his bottle so i had to put her down i had to give him his bottle so she's just not had her nap so she looks awake now so she might have a nap later on at my parents but yeah she's just not got to have her nap today poor thing but i'll just show you her are you playing in your playpen yeah you be good girl aren't you yeah you always good where's alice peekaboo where's alice oh, peekaboo <laughs> So mommy just needs to go and find her shoes so she can go to granddad and Nana's house. Can I go find your shoes? Are they upstairs? Yeah, and in your bedroom? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, they're not over there. Mommy looked. I think they must be upstairs. So yeah, I'm just gonna nip upstairs and get her shoes. I keep her in here when I'm going upstairs so she can't get to Leo. You know, he's here, he's asleep now. Oh, I'm gonna go get your shoes. Yeah. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Can I have that shoey? A tap? Oh, is she a tap? Oh, thank you. I put on your foot. A tap? A shoey for mommy. Oh! A shoey for mommy. We've got one shoey. We've got two shoeys on. Tap? <laughs> I got the shoey. Oh, not for mummy. But you can't go in Grandad's car with just one shoey. You need two shoeys on, don't you? Can mummy put that one on, please? Ta. A ta. Ta. No, this one. I want this shoey. Ah ha ha ha. Ah ha ha. Ta. Put on your foot. Ha 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 ha! You monkey! Ta! Ta! You put 
put on your foot? <laughs> oh. oh, you can't go in Grandad's car then without your shoe. Can you? No. You gotta have your shoe, on. Come on, we do it. And that little leggy, really little leggy, leggy leggy, Shoey, ta, ta, no, dirty, we don't eat the shoey, no, <laughs> let me put on, <laughs> no, oh, we'll have to wait until Grandad comes, Grandad can put it on for you, so this little monkey, yeah, well, well let mummy put her shoeys on, will you, we got one shoey on, but she won't let mommy put this shoey on. Will you? No. Are you going to do it then? You put the shoe on. You do it. You show mommy how you put your shoe on. You show me. Yeah, show mommy. How do you put your shoe on? Hey, where does it go? Does it go on this foot? Yeah, you can put it on. There you go, good girl. Do you want mommy to help you? Yeah, mommy help, Ta. I'll do it then. Mommy help you, Ta. Can you give it to mommy? Do you want mommy to help? Alice? Do you want mommy to help? Put your shoe on? Yeah, I'll do it for you. Ta. No! Oh, ow. No. You want to do it yourself? Go on then. You do it. Put your shoe on. You do it. Yeah, mommy, help. We may be here a while. Hi, so it's now quarter to one. Alice has just gone off with my parents so she can have a nice play at their house. And I'm just gonna have some lunch and then I need to wash or wash and sterilize all the bottles for Leah because he's only got one clean one left. So I'll be doing that after I've had my lunch. He's currently asleep, so I'm gonna watch Teen Mum 2 and eat my lunch. So here's little Leo, he's stirring a little bit. I hope he'll stay asleep a little bit longer. I'm just gonna watch Teen Mum 2 and I'm gonna have a really unhealthy lunch. Hi, so it's actually half four now and I just actually fell asleep, had a little nap and he woke me up and I realised that I have no clean sterilised bottles because I fell asleep. He's not actually due his bottle for another hour but he sounds like he really wants one so I need to hurry up, wash these bottles, get these sterilised so I can actually give him the bottle and he's not happy about it so I need to really hurry up and do this. Okay, so it is now 10 to 5. I've just washed all the bottles and they're in the steriliser. They probably just need another few minutes before they're done. But I did have some, a little bit of breast milk in the fridge, which I'm going to give him. There's not much, but he's looking for something. So at least this will hopefully do him till the steriliser's finished. So I'm going to give him this little bit of breast milk. Are you hungry for your bottle? Are you? Mummy, get you now. We have a cuddling. You can have your bottle. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the sterilizer is now finished. That little bit of breast milk did him for a bit, but he really wants more, so I'm gonna quickly make him a bottle. So he's got his bottle now and he's happy, aren't you? There he is, open his bottle. So yeah. Yeah, your bottle. If he doesn't go to sleep after this, I think I might get his playmat out and see if he wants to have a little play on the playmat. 
but he tends to often fall asleep after his ball, so we'll see. I'm hoping he stays awake for a little bit, we can play on his play mat, but we shall see. So, I think it's about quarter past five now, so Lawrence should be home soon, hopefully, yeah. I'm not sure what time Alice is coming home, I think she'll probably come home about seven after her dinner, what time my mum usually brings her home, so we'll have to see. But yeah, I'm going to finish feeding him and I'll get back to you in a bit. So I was feeding this little man his bottle. He only took about an ounce and then he threw up everywhere. He threw up everything he just had. He was coming out of his nose. So I'm covered in sick now. And he's had, well, what he did drink, he threw up, didn't you? Okay, so I don't know whether to try and see if he wants some more. Because he is due his feed. Or just leave him, but he is look, does look like he's looking for more. Uh, I'll see. I'll see if he wants it. I think, because otherwise he might be hungry. So, yeah. Oh, look at him. You see him? He's eating his hands. Right. I'm gonna see if he wants some more, and I'll get back to you in a bit. Yeah, Leo's trying out his play mat, but he's got hiccups. So, Leo. Not sure if he's enjoying it with his hiccups. Hey. You're touching him. Hey. Hey. Daddy. Hey. 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 enjoyed having all of mummy's attention. You've got some nice cuddles in today, haven't you? Yeah, you've had some nice cuddles today. Yeah, good boy. Hi, so it's now quarter to nine. Alice got home, I think it was about half seven, and then my parents brought round our pram, our double pram, that was at their house, and was showing us how to set that up and everything because I might go around to their house tomorrow so I'd need the double pram because I'm on my own so but that's there now whether I'll be able to get them in it and out the door we'll see because I'm not sure if it'll get out the door so we'll have to see this little man is awake can't you and we've just got Alice to sleep it took me ages to get her to sleep but she's finally asleep and she's in her cot and now it's just this one Hey, you're awake, aren't you? Hey, he's a good boy. Hey, good boy. His bottle's just not due till 10, so it's an hour yet till his bottle's due. I think he just wants a cuddle. So I think Lauren's and I are just gonna watch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, sh good boy. I think Lauren's and I are just gonna watch the telly for an hour. Give him his 10 o'clock feed and then we're going to head to bed because Lawrence is in work. It starts work at 6 again tomorrow so he's going to have to get up at 5am. And then I'll probably end up getting up at 6 with them again like I did today because that's what time Alice wakes up. And it's easier for me to feed her down here than in the bed because she can try and jump out and stuff. So yeah, I'm going to... Um, yeah, I'm gonna end it here for today and I'll get back to you tomorrow. Say bye bye. Say bye bye, Leo. <laughs> 
Hi, today is Sunday the 12th of May, it's 6am and I have one and I have two. We both woke up at the exact same time wanting a bottle, Lawrence had already left for work so I've had to juggle feeding both of them at the same time. This little one's falling asleep, bless her. I think she woke up because he was crying and now he needs winding. So I'm going to try and wind him with this little one asleep on my knee. So I think this is probably how the day is going to go today because Lawrence is doing another 11 hour shift so he won't be back home till about 6, 7 o'clock. So yeah, I think it's going to be one of those days for this poor little girl. She didn't even get much of a bottle because I had to feed him. She hardly got any. Oh, sorry about that. It's her ball. She didn't get very much, so. Poor Alice. And this little one needs winding. And he just, he really is struggling to get his wind up. After every feed, we very rarely get any wind up from him. Do we? Hey. And I think he's feeling his nappy as well. Which I've only just changed. I don't think I'm going to be going anywhere soon with her on my knee. So, I'm just going to have to try and wind him and see if I can get him in the basket without waking up. Hi, so it's now half seven and I've just brought both the kids down there. So, Alice, she's just in her playpen. I put her in there while I brought the baby down. As you can see, he is probably what in his bottle. But I just need to change him because he stinks. So, Alice is going to stay in her playpen while I get him all changed. And I'm going to get her breakfast and his bottle, so yeah, I better get him changed now. Hi, so it's now half seven. Alice is in the playpen and Leo is in his basket. So I've just come to make Alice her breakfast. She's going to have some cereal. I'm going to give her, she likes these crunchy nut cornflakes. I'm going, to give her, I'm going to give her those. And then I'm going to make his bottle and feed him his bottle while she eats her cereal. So I'm just going to get her cereal out and then after this she'll probably have some toast when I have my toast as well. So I'm going to pour out a cereal and then make his bottle. Okay, so his bottle's made now. I've made four ounces because that's the lowest amount that you can make on this. But it probably will only take about two to three. So I'm going to take in this now because he's getting a bit unsettled. So Leo's had his bottle now and he's sleeping in his basket. Alice is watching Teletubbies and I made the mistake of putting too much milk on her cereal. So this is what's happened. So I'm going to clean up this and then I'm going to get her some toast. She was a good girl. She ate most of it. Some of it's still down the top but she did well. So I just need to clean this up now. So I'm going to do that. So I just put some toast on for my breakfast and also to give Alice a piece as well just because she, she didn't eat that much of her cereal, it was all down her bib but she did eat some of it so I'm going to make her some toast so I'm just going to butter this now, take it in I'm going to eat that and then after that I need to wash the bottles and her bowls and stuff because I've only got one bottle left for Leo so I need to wash his bottles her bottles were done last night. She just she only has three a day anyway, and she's already had one today, so her bottles are fine. But I do need to wash his and her bowl, and I'll have to do a plate as well. So I'm gonna butter this toast because it popped up now, and go and give her that. There you go. Toast is all buttered. I've also made myself a drink, so I'm just gonna take her toast into her first. She's waiting. Here's your toast, Ali. There we go. There's your drink. Don't throw it on the floor this time. Is that nice? Good girl. Okay, so it's now half eight. Alice is sat in a chair watching Teletubbies and Leo is asleep. I might just have to go and check on her. 
But while they're doing that, I'm going to wash the bottles and sterilise them. So I'm going to get on with that now. And then I'm going to get Alice dressed. Okay, so the steriliser has finished, but I need to give it a couple of minutes for it to cool before I can take the stuff out. But I'm just going to give the kitchen a quick wipe down because all the surface is dirty. It needs a quick wipe down. So I'm just going to do that now while she seems to be quiet and the baby's quiet. So yeah, I'm just going to give it a quick wipe down now. Okay, so I've just quickly had time to just wipe down the services. I'm not trying to clean properly, but she's getting a bit, a bit upset, so I need to go and get her out of her chair and brush her teeth and get her dressed. So I'll finish this off when she has her nap later on. So let's go and get her ready. Do you want to play? So little Alice is all dressed now and she's all clean, aren't you? Not brushed her hair yet, but do that later. So me and Alice are gonna do some playing now. Leo is asleep because once he wakes up, I have to feed him. So we're going to do some playing, aren't we? Yeah. Here we're going to play Stack the Rings. Little Alice, you've tried to put her jammers on. She's got one leg in, haven't you? Show us your leg. She's got one leg in. You're very pleased with yourself, aren't you, getting that leg in? Yeah, you've got your leg in your jammers. Hey, you try to put your jammers on. Is it bedtime? Is it bedtime, Alice? Hey, <laughs> is it stuck on your leggy now? <laughs> there we go. Is it come off? You don't off. Careful, you don't fall. So she's just been playing, trying to put her pyjamas on. I'm just trying to get Leo's wind up, but having no luck. He didn't drink very much of his bottle. He drank about, I'd say about 50 mils. No, less than that. 40 mils. So I do need to try and get him to have some more in a minute. He's gone a bit sleepy. Are you trying to put your pyjamas on again? Yeah, on your foot. <laughs> oh, clever girl, try to put on her foot. Yeah, good girl. Definitely think that Ethan may need some new bits and there might be some small bits. Alice putting her pyjamas on. You're a clever little girl, aren't you? Hey, yeah, you're clever. This poor little boy's got hickey ups, haven't you? Oh, I'm going to put him over my shoulder and see if that will help him. So it is now 10 to 1 and he still hasn't settled. So I'm going to get Alice's lunch now because she's getting hungry. He's just going to have to sit there. His next bottle's due in a minute. He just didn't sleep after his last one. Alice, I've just sat in her chair and I'm just gonna go and get her lunch now. Okay, so this is Alice's lunch. She's got some ham, some cheese, some grapes, some orange, and then I got a cup of water. So I'm gonna go and give her this now and then I'm gonna prepare my lunch. There we go, so Alice has got her lunch now. You need to all up, aren't you? Hey, should you put a bib on so you don't get your dress messy? Yeah. And he's still not settled. He's just not settling. Are you? Not settling. No. Okay, so it's now one o'clock. He's not settled, so I've just made him another bottle. Alice is still eating her lunch. And I'm going to put Rosie and Jim on her for her to watch while I feed him. Hopefully that'll keep her occupied. Hi, so it is now ten past two. I've just got myself dressed. 
and I'm just about to get up and get Alice a new dress because she got she got another one all wet. She tips her cup upside down. So I'm gonna go and get her a new dress. I'm gonna get a little outfit for Leo and then I'm gonna try and head out, but I'm not sure how to put the car seat on this new pram. And I just don't feel comfortable putting laying him flat on the back seat because he just looks so small in it. I really want to put him in the car seat because he just looks more comfortable. So I need to try and work out how to do that. And then I'm gonna to nip to the shop, buy some bottled milk because I didn't manage to express enough for a feed. I only managed to get 40 mils out and he needs about 60. So there's not gonna be enough there. So I need to try and get some bottled milk that I can take with me from Boots. So I'm gonna hurry up and do that. So it's now three o'clock and I'm still not out the house. I've got Alice changed. He has not gone back to sleep all day. He's been awake all day. Usually he sleeps, but I'm going to try and get him changed and maybe he's going out in the pan might like, calm him down. I don't know. But, yeah. Okay, it's now ten past three and I finally have both babies in the pram. I'm not going to lie, it was hard work. And I am knackered. Right, they're both in there. I hope they're both warm off. It's supposed to be quite warm today, so I've not put the coats on. He's got blankets and I'm ready to go. I don't know how I'm going to get this out of the door because it's a massive step down. But we'll see how we get. Are we ready, Alice? So I'm at Boots now. Found the milk I need. So as it's such a nice day, I thought we'd walk through the park it's on the way to my parents but we're not gonna stop off and go on anything i'm just gonna walk through which is nice and sunny here we are in the pram little leo's asleep oh this is being a good girl aren't you yeah hey. are you ready alice one catch it a two catch it oh 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 you missed it what what's up there Birdies. Oh, oh, birdies! Yeah. Mama! What? Yeah. Oh. Is it birdie? Oh. Oh. What? What? What's that, Alice? Is yeah. that your car? Are you getting in? Does she usually sit in it? Yeah. Daniel pushes her around. You got your ball! Ralph, you going to play football? Like on telly when they play football. Me? Yeah, you do it. Football. Jump on me. She usually just crawls out. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? You got your ball. She rolls on it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> eh? Hey? A football? <laughs> yeah. Football. Go for it to mummy. For it to mummy. <laughs> you staying at Uncle Andrew? He's like, where's Uncle Daniel? Ah, oh, Kiki. <laughs> Mommy Kiki. Alice, are you having your din-dins? Have you got fish and waffles? Hey, fish and waffles, they're nice. Show Mommy. Can you show Mommy? That's it, use your fork. Good girl. That's it. So it's now 20 past 7 and we've just got home and it should be Alice's bedtime so I'm going to try and get her pyjamas on. So it's a little, she's going to bed a little bit later today because obviously we're out. Alice come back. I'm going to grab her and get her pyjamas on. Hi, so it's 8 o'clock now and I'm back from my parents. Alice is fast asleep in bed. Leo is still asleep in his pram because I don't want to move him and wake him up so I'm just leaving him in his pram. Lawrence has actually gone to McDonald's to get us some food because we haven't eaten yet and we're both starving and we're both knackered so we can't be bothered baking anything. So he's just nipped across to McDonald's to get some food and we're going to eat that for his little treat. And yeah, that's all we're going to do for tonight. As soon as we've eaten that, I think we're going to head to bed because we're both really tired. Um, and yeah, that is it for the week. We had a really nice, well, I had a really nice time at parents, saw both my brothers, and Alice had a lovely time playing. And Leo had, my mum was loving having cuddles with Leo as well. So yeah, it was a really nice time. 
so yeah that is the end of this week's weekly vlog i hope you have enjoyed it if you have please give it a like don't forget to subscribe and i hope to see you again next week bye